years. It's why we brought in the Best Start payment, which is the first time since the 1990s we had a universal payment that recognised that in those early days we need to support families to have the choice of being with their children. Unfortunately, uh, the National Party is proposing These families to cut Best Start, which will be a real not working, loss paid to what I think is doesn't make a, a significant a change. Time. It doesn't make a scrap of difference, paid parental leave to families who are not working. What we really do need to do is to put the effort I'm, in straight away with, with, with mothers and babies and also but I, I understand. Through this and to prevent Can children I just being harmed. On whether or not we just heard whether or not we just heard Judith say that she doesn't believe in the extensions to pay. Right, now leave. that's you know that's not true. I said for families who are not working, it doesn't help to have paid for. And Best leave. Start does, actually, and you're planning to cut it. We're so putting in a thousand, Best Start first thousand matters days. to every family, no, and you've proposed on, cutting it. We've got the first thousand days is where the, the child is most going to get a benefit, and also the mother. It is really important to understand. For progressive home ownership, and we will continue with Kiwi Build. We will oh, also no. continue no, to no. build. We will also continue to build state houses to rebuild the stock that we lost under national. And finally, oh, the urban That's policy state, the national policy statement, the national policy statement on urban development is the planning tool that will make a difference to all these, these houses built, no one to buy them. Your policies? We're not going to do that. So happy to talk to you. I've just said you get rid of the RMA. The other thing is we'll do what we did in Christchurch, and that was to get to actually do mass consenting, get houses built. We ended up with a situation in Christchurch where until actually a change of government, the house prices had actually stabilised. And they've nine gone up years, 13% in the last year. Nine years and no Christchurch. changes to the RMA. Actually, nine we did make years changes. And I don't know where you were those days. The state but housing stock. No, 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 that's Nine not years true. and they allowed no. foreign buyers to continue to buy our houses. And what's nine happened? Nine years. And what's happened? And they did not close and what's the tax happened? loopholes for speculators. Nine, nine years no. equals a housing no, crisis not that we are still no. trying to turn no, around. No, even barriers. Look, Look, how can a you even, decade, how can a decade you long problem we are not going to fix in when three we now years. have right. But I am not going to give up trying and making sure these home buyers people. access our it's housing gone market. Four Thank times. You. It's gone up four times. No, it's gone up four times. The state house waiting list when we left office was 5,000 families. Because now we are they almost 20,000 families. Like you 20, Thousand families are waiting for a home under Miss Sardoun. Twenty thousand people needing state assistance. And how, now, how did can you she sell? even mention it? And 6, when I look at it, this, this, they've built five thousand state houses. Actually, all consented, started, funded under us. Actually, By the way, she's got correct. nothing left in the tank. She's got right. nothing left in the tank. The fact is going to be very busy the fact tonight. She's got <laughs> Phil Twyford and Kiwi Build. Come on. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judith <laughs> Collins. Thank